Welcome back to the internet, dear friends. God, you guys remember the Great Crash Fest of 2018? <laughs> well, we'd love to comp you, but it was a manifest and you called it a morph, so clearly your story is bullshit, nerd. Get bent. Well, I never... Seven out of eight. When we uh, when we were Crash Buddies, yeah, that was a good time. See, the uh, the Great Crash Fest of 2018 is not limited to one person. It does not discriminate. Also, me and Robert, Robert, otherwise known as Illusions Donate Good Games, we went to play some, uh, some Battle Bond, and uh, I opened these guys in my packs, and that was pretty cool. I can never tell if you can see them if I don't have OBS up, so I'm like, oh, oh yeah, there you go. And then Justin, Justin Vickers, my buddy and the owner of the store, called them uh, Danny and Viserys Targaryen. That's pretty funny. Uh, this pack is something. Oh, actually, let's do a stipulation draft. We have a stipulation. So, yeah, look at that. I just figured it out right now. We have a stipulation from old Monsonster, good old longtime supporter Monsonster. And so Monsonster says, five color super friends control. That being the case, I figured this is a good one because there's three Planeswalkers in this pack. So, I'm going to take Ashok. They make magic in paper now? Yeah, it surprised me too. The store was like, hey, we got these weird cards and they look like magic online cards, but uh, I think they're real. And I was like, you know what? I'm not so sure. Uh, Ugin is a good super friend. I also like all these signets that we're seeing here. So, here we go. Here we go. Is Monsonster still with us? He is. This is great. All right. <clears throat> I also like mind control. I think mind control is good for like the super friends deck because you don't have a ton of creatures and you can just take their creatures. Yeah, I'm going to take this Eugene. And Vraska. We're getting all the good. Wow, look at this. Our first three picks are Sultai Planeswalkers. Not close. We're also going to prioritize lands very, very highly. Not over top tier Planeswalkers like these three. I think all three of these are very, very good. But we will prioritize them over... Pretty much anything. How would you even play Magic with the Cards? It actually took a, a, a significant amount of time to get used to it. But, um... But we did it. Had the most horrible cube experience ever. Every opponent was blue X and my spells got counted 17. That's a lot, dude. That is not a reasonable amount of time. Hunter, stop licking yourself. He's licking himself again. It's unbelievable. All he does is lick himself. Uh, I may forego this Planeswalker because she's not, she's not great. And I may just take the land. I, the thing I like about this step is that Monsonster literally just said five color planeswalker control. Let me check Twitter to Twitch to see if he had any other uh, specifics that he wanted to convey. Oh, and I literally tried to open a message. Sorry, something that went wrong loading this conversation. All right, we did it. Um, I don't see it though. I only see older messages. That's weird. Yeah, that's weird. All right, anyway. Anyway, <clears throat> Obnix listen to Sphinx Hero for seven. Yeah, that seems pretty good. That seems pretty good. I'm gonna take Spire Bluff Canal. I wanna I wanna prioritize lands as we mentioned, and uh, that's a good way to do it. I'm gonna take Nissa. Nissa is a nice one. No Planeswalkers here. I'll take Bloodstain Mire. Oh, Boros Signet. That's gonna be good for five colors. This is going to be great. Look, man, just keep it easy. Not too many conditions. I like it. I like it, though. 
Because a lot of people are like, you can you gotta take uh, you can take planeswalkers, but if there's three planeswalkers in the pack, then you can take an artifact instead. And if there are two artifacts in the pack, you can take a creature instead. I'm like, not not don't get me wrong. I think those are actually fun sometimes, but uh, it is nice to just be like, take the planeswalkers you can find. It's cool. Do you hear this frigging cat? I was actually hoping the Sauron would come back. Like, oh my god, and an Orzhov signet. Probably taking it over a Chandra. Being able to fix two colors with a Signet and also ramp into some of our more expensive Planeswalkers feels more important than having another six-drop Planeswalker here, so. God, he's so loud. Also, board wipes are, are, are very good, yes. If you're on the conversation page, make sure to click it and then control. Oh, maybe I should refresh. Hold on. I have not refreshed this page in quite some time. See, this is what I mean, though. Like, that's, that's something right there. No, I still don't have any new messages from you. Uh, the last, the Monsanto, the last message on Twitch I have from you is, uh, about the car. Uh, Streak Mall's fine. So I started fleshing out the stip and there were all these corner cases. So I was like, Frank's an adult, he can figure it out. Yeah, I agree. I appreciate that. Don't get me wrong. If you guys have super intricate stips, that's totally fine too. Cause you guys are, you guys are supporting me and I'm totally down with whatever you guys want to do. As long as it's clear and as long as we can figure it out, I'm, I'm down for whatever, but it is nice to just be like, Five color planeswalker control. You know what it's like. Pick those cards, play the deck. And I'm like, sounds good. <clears throat> oh, timely for the sideboard seems nice, especially when we don't have many creatures. We don't have any red cards yet, but we have a Boros Signet, a Bloodstained Mire, and a Spire Bluff Canal for um Obliterator. It's a control card. Hmm. Hmm. You know, I'm not sure. Stipulation, big whisper would make MTG or cry. We just did that. We just had that stipulation. Field of Ruin seems good. It can actually fix our mana in a pinch. Um, well, the stipulation never said no creatures, though. It just said five color super friends. Where you watch me draft and play from my house via Skype. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, I guess that's a stipulation. Oh, we get the Karn and the Ugin? Oh, baby. That's exciting. Also, no, fetch, no like, dual lands in this pack, so I'm pretty okay with that. Oh, that's great. Well, Ulamog is not a Planeswalker, thankfully. It's just Razor Verge Thicket. I kind of like Black Sun Zenith here, actually. We're heavy black, and being able to wipe the board seems good. And, like, the best part about Black Sun Zenith is that even if you don't kill all the creatures, you still get to severely neuter them. So, like, unlike a Neg 4, Neg, like, under, like, unlike Languish, like, if they have a 4 5, it still gets it. It's still affected. Assemble is kind of like a Planeswalker. That's actually a valid point. I'm going to take the Black Sun Zenith. For a deck with minimal creatures, I feel like that's pretty okay. Oh, I like this Ral. I think this Ral is second only to like Teferi for five drops. Like, it's just very good. I want to take it because it's Planeswalker. Call the number one walk you want, Jace the Mind Sculptor. Or you watch my Facebook live feed of me drafting at my house using my phone. What? <laughs> these are... Brian, these are borderline. These are creepy, buddy. I don't know how I feel about these stipulations. Elspeth is good. Isolated Chapel's good. Hmm. It's gotta be Elspeth, right? Double white, though? We have Stirring Wildwood, Orzov, and Boros Signets. <clears throat> the one thing I don't like is that... Um, Double-colored... Planeswalkers are pretty rough because you want to diversify your mana in such a way that you shouldn't have two of the same color. You'd prioritize having one of each color instead. I'm going to take the chapel because of that. I like a clifftop retreat. 
No planeswalkers, right? All right, so this is a this is a nice freebie. We already have Stirring Wildwood and Spire Bluff Canal that are likely going to come into play tapped. I think it's a Raging Ravine here. Because I can actually see Clifftop Retreat coming back. Ooh, there he is. It's your boy. Yeah, we're going to play that. Uh, there's also a White Pip as well, buddy. Shower friendo, bath friendo, befriendo. It might just be Channeler Initiate, actually. It adds any color and also it uh, ramps us, which is pretty relevant. I'm going to take the Channeler Initiate here. I don't want another tap lane. We have Stirring Wildwood and Raging Ravine already. Is it Signet? Yes. Excellent. Something, something, dark side. Uh, it could be Glorbringer. Liliana actually is a Planeswalker, but we don't have any... See, here's the problem. We don't have any creatures in our deck, non-token creatures especially, to actually flip Liliana. So, I think the odds of us flipping Liliana are pretty low. I'm just going to take the Glorbringer because it's a solid dude. Dreadbor is pretty solid removal, which we could definitely use here. I did like Wisp to reset a walker. I don't think that's terrible. I just think Glorbringer is a stronger, like, removal... Sp like, we want to be able to... To kill things, basically. Needle Spires. I don't want another 7 drop. I'll just take the Needle Spires. A lot of our lands look like they're going to come and play tapped, which is pretty scary. However, we do have a good number of Signets, so... Our curve is somewhat high, but when you're playing the Planeswalker deck, it's hard not to be, I think. <clears> oh, <throat> uh, Livia's playable. No, do you? All right. I don't know if I'm gonna play you, but it's nice to have a planeswalker that late. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven so far. Technically eight with this Nissa. Seems good. Six lands. The sacred, the sacred clifftop, cliffside. Retreat? I don't know what that card's called. Cliffside Retreat did not come back, unfortunately. Ludus Games, what's going on, buddy? Alright. Planeswalkers? Nay. Assassin's Trophy? And Stomping Ground. Stomping Ground we can get with a Bloodstained Mire. That's pretty nice. I also do like a Fumigate. But I bet Fumigate comes back. It's either I think it's either Assassin's Trophy or Stomping Ground. I think it's Stomping Ground. I'm more concerned with being able to cast our spells in this match than in this in this draft. I have a real sip. You have the top nine hot wings that are the top three hot flavors from Hot Ones. Uh, you have to eat one of one of the flavors for each game you play, and the match is the hotter. Um, <laughs> lock it in. How much? That I don't know. Oh man, are we talking like last dab, de bomb, and like uh, whatever their second hottest one is this season? I forgot. Like the three hottest. Yeah, I'm just gonna take this. No, I'm going to take Assassin's Trophy. Like, this is a great land, but it's not the one I want. It's not the land we're looking for. I also don't think this Ajani is great. I'm kind of more on board with... Um, with Godless Shrine here. I also like Damnation a lot. Yeah, if it was the first three, I'd be like, oh, this is these are good, these are great flavors, but oh my god. Eating a last stab wing on... That's actually a great stipulation, though. I like that a lot. I I, on our, I also think this is Johnny's going to come back. One, two. The bomb is just terrible. It's literally just battery acid. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's called the Shrine. Because we can get it with Meyer. 
Actually, maybe it is Damnation. It's Damnation, and we hope the God of the Shrine comes back. Man. Dragon Skull Summit's good. Xenagos is alright. I don't like that this deals damage to Planeswalkers. Uh, because we have a lot of Planeswalkers. I'm going to take Dragon Skull Summit here, and I'm going to be quite happy with it. I don't care about Xenagos there. Breeding Pool. That seems great. No Planeswalkers. Seems good. Oh, Nahiri? <clears throat> All right. All right. I'm game. I think it's better than Nyssa here. Woodland Cemetery I I like. I'll take a Woodland Cemetery. Tamio the Moon Sausage. Uh, that's actually fine. We don't have much blue, though, is the problem. Like, we're not a very blue-heavy deck. We have, like, Ral and Ashiok. <clears throat> Uh, if it was just the last stab for three rounds, that seems pretty brutal. I, I think that's actually rough. Uh, oh, Blood Crypt and a Dragonlord Selimgar. Hmm. Like, we got heavier red here. This is 21 cards, 21 playables. We have a couple couple picks left. I don't think I want another expensive card here. But maybe. I think I'd rather just have the fixing land. Fumigate came back. Murderous Cut's also pretty good. I think it's Fumigate here. We already have Damnation and Black Sun Zenith. I don't think we want Fumigate. I'm just going to take the Murderous Cut here. I'd rather have a one-for-one one rule here. How about you chug a bottle of the bomb and then feed it to Mike with your mouth like a baby bird? That's disgusting. But maybe. God, a Johnny, also Grave Titan. I think it is a Johnny here. Um, the Johnny plus one first ability is not great because none of the actually putting on a Soren is fine. I really want this Grave Titan, especially because it came back, but I don't think I can pass this to Johnny. Uh, why would I cut Ral? That doesn't even make any sense. We don't have to cut anything right now. Don't be that guy. Um, Massacre Worm is pretty okay. I'll take that guy. I like a Silk Ramp. I don't... Maybe I, maybe it's decent. We'll say it's Dece. Shriek Moss, Assassin Trophy, Red Boar, Channel Error. Oh, Reflecting Pool is a nice one. Yeah, but you're not playing Ralph for the for the uh, instance and sorcery's ability. You're playing her for the draw card ability. Uh, Masquerade in the sideboard. This deck looks pretty sweet. I think Mike's spice threshold is a little bit higher than mine, but I think mine is pretty solid. All right, this deck looks great. There's a lot of five drops. Uh, actually, this guy's a two drop. This guy's more like a four drop. Yeah, or a three drop. Yeah, that's actually much more reasonable. We're not looking to treat Mon. Uh, am I going to GP Portland? No, no, I am not. Um, I think this is good. So let's sort by color. Actually, this is for a deck like this, we really want to just go to properties and then do an analysis and then keep that up so we can take a gander. All right. So add all of these, because I can't imagine any of these are not getting played except for the Field of Ruin. Um, all right, so black is our highest color. So 13 black sources, or 13 black pips. Do you eat chicken wings or is it strictly vegan wings? Um, I eat chicken tenders. I eat chicken tenders. When am I coming to Seattle? I don't know. I can, we could figure something out a bit. I love this, I love visiting Seattle. I have a lot of friends that I could, I could go to see. 
Um, all right, black sources, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, <clears throat> eight, nine, well, I like that. I think that's good. All right, red sources are second highest at seven. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, kind of like seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that seems good. And this is including Chandler and a shit green and green and blue. We have five each. So blue, we're probably going to need a bunch of blue here. Green, we have breeding pool, raging ravine, wildwood, cemetery, simic, signet. So we have five, six. Okay. Um, probably going to cut one of these out of blue. Two blue, three blue, four blue, five blue. Okay, I like five blue. This should be fine. Tamio is going to be a little rough, but we do have Chandler Initiate as well. So, not ideal. <laughs> when are you coming to Toronto? When are you coming to ATL? This is great. This is great. Uh, I think we can cut Tamio for Nissa, actually. I like that better because Tamio uh, does seems pretty hard to cast here. And then white sources we have one, two, three, four, five. I think we're good on white. I'm gonna add another green here. And then I'm gonna cut Tamio for Nissa. Yeah, I like that. All right, that's super cool. I think this deck looks awesome. We have like snow and stuff, I guess. You're not even sure? You don't even know? Unbelievable. Uh, this hand seems great. Turn to this guy. Shut up and take my money. <laughs> hot wings stipulation. Mike B has to be a part. Eat hot wings with hottie sauces, and you two have to eat one at the start of each game. In addition, oh, hold on. And in additional, if you lose, uh, can have different levels of heat for each round. Must increase to see. Okay, I like it. I like it, Brian. That's ridiculous and uh, pretty sweet. So I'm all right with it. I will let Mike know. It'll probably be like, we'll try to do it for like next week sometime. Because uh, Mike is off on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. My dog is, is terrified of water and came to visit me. She's shaking, but that's true love. Oh, man. Oh, man. So we got to figure out what kind of, uh, what kind of little little chicken things we're gonna eat uh hunter should be fine yeah i mean that's a that's a hard question because i'll just be like no make it make it 300 but no that's not reasonable that's just uh 100 is it seems pretty fair yeah I, I think that's good all right mono blue shouldn't have an answer for this channel our initiate let's go with this guy I like Shriekmaw killing this. That's pretty good. What can we go with the Bloodstained Mire? I sneezed near my cat and it literally attacked me and it just sat hissing at me like I sneezed on her. Oh, that's no good. I kind of have to pay for the wings. You know, that's a good point. But I mean, thankfully, I already have some. Uh, we have some last dab. I don't think we have the bomb anymore. I think uh, our ex roommate Justin took that with him. Um, I literally have. I actually have an order from from Heatonist coming tomorrow. Uh, actually, that's kind of funny. Never, never resolving, right? What? Kill your doofer. Okay, so real talk, I actually had an idea for some content where I would actually visit people on Friday, like fans or, you know, supporters or whatever, like that I that I that had been supporting me for a while that I trusted. I would go visit them on like a Friday, we'd go to their F and M, we'd hang out on the Saturday, and then I'd probably go home on like Sunday. And I thought that'd be a really cool experience to like vlog and like, you know, showcase the magic community. And like the people specific specifically the people I've met through this game. 
Um, but I never really like it was hard to fail. I'm like, do I do they pay for the flight? Do I pay for the flight? Like, like I didn't know how to really get it going. Uh, I'm gonna take this one, and then I'm gonna pass. And I'm gonna hope you don't play like anything. I guess. Tokyo trip, come visit me. <laughs> like me. Uh yeah, like a lot of people seemed to like I think I, I assumed that this would be a cool idea. Um Yeah. Putting a negative one, negative one counter on this is actually pretty sweet because we can do the thing. We have a lot of red. We have one black. We can get a god of the shrine though. We want a breeding pool here. Hmm. I mean, they haven't countered, like, they didn't counter Rao. I don't understand what they're. All right. Sure. This is very weird. You pick up the flight. That way you can build a freaking flyer mine. Yeah, it gets cheaper over time. Yeah, sounds great. Except for the problem that uh, it is not cheaper immediately. And I still have to pay $300 every time I do this at least. So it's not... That's a pretty... Uh, that's generous of you to tell me to, to pick up the flight. Yep. You hit yes. There we go. Let's look at the top card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, Assassin's Trophy is much better. Let's do that. Uh, so we want this and probably the other one. So we're going to go red. Nahiri. We have like we have a great like a great number of lands too to keep to discard. Uh, we're gonna go. Eh, we'll plus Nahiri first, right? We will get rid of an island. Oh, that's why we didn't plus her first. Ah, oh! I knew we had a reason to not do that. Here's two free cards. Oh, and we also don't have black from this. So we, we really dropped the ball here. Man. What a dummy. Well, thankfully that was in there. Get this guy out of here. Wow, I can't just give him two cards. Oh, okay. Well, I meant that I meant that you were the one to make the actual purchase. Okay. Yeah, that makes more sense. That would be great because that is an easy way to get like frequent flyer stuff. Um. Oh my god, I can't believe I just gave them two free cards. That's so bad. I knew in my head I was like, kill it first. But then I was like, what if we find something better to do with our mana? Nope. Would you go international? Probably. Yeah, I mean, that seems insane, to be quite honest. Um... I mean, if someone's picking up a ticket for me to go to, like, Ireland or, you know, the UK or Tokyo, like, I mean, I think I'd probably be able to make that work, yeah. Yep. I mean, Black Sun Zenith here is pretty good. We also have a bunch of, man, a bunch of creature lands. Uh, let's discard... I'm down for the Tokyo trip. Phil, I bet you are, buddy. I bet you are. I'll discard th this forest. Oh, a Johnny, the mentor of heroes. I guess 17 cards left. Uh, let's go one, two, 
three, four. We want to do this for three, so five mana. One. But we want to keep up Dreadbore mana, too. So let's play this. So one, two. What is this? One, two, three. So it's one, two, three. And then we also get to activate channel initiate again. We have to keep our channel initiate, kill both their things. <sighs> yeah, I didn't think so. Seems good. And now we get to activate Ral again. That's a good one. These are both good ones. I don't want one of these to go in the graveyard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna just take the Ashiok here, I think. It lets us, it, it makes us so we can resolve one of these next turn. Also, the host gets to make the picks for one draft. That should cover a little cost. I don't know if that works that way. Also, you guys, like, actually, you guys being so stoked about this is actually pretty hilarious. I didn't think this was going to be that uh, that big of a deal, but I always thought it was a cool idea because it shows, like, it's just a great piece of content where you like it to show people different, different places, different locations. And the people, like, you meet through this game are one of the coolest parts of the game, I think. Um... I feel like when they have cryptic command, like it's always you always want to like activate your planeswalker first. Hmm, listen, scatter. Okay. What creatures do we have in our deck right now? Like none. We can get like Olivia Voldaren. I kind of just want to kill this guy. I'll just keep plusing around. Stirring Wildwood's a dude. Oh, that's actually not a dude. It is a planeswalker. Counter this guy? I, th I feel like they're going to Cyclonic Rift us. Or just censor us. What we really want here is Vital Force. That is exactly what we want. Uh, you're going to go first, then you, then you. Yeah, we're definitely, we should definitely start attacking at some point. Uh, not now, though. And not with this guy. What do we play? We played Stirring Wildwood, right? So we played a land this turn. Yeah, they're definitely going to Cyclonic Rift here. We're going to lose five Planeswalkers. Which is fine, because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I forgot about that guy. Let's see how fast you can tap those, those manners. And that's actually better than I expected. All our Planeswalkers survive, unless they bounce this, in which case they kill a Planeswalker. Uh, I probably, so I've tried that before and I probably wouldn't be streaming at the FNM. I'd probably just like, I mean, I just record it on a camera and vlog it and like post it on YouTube afterwards. It wouldn't be live.
Targeting. Teferi in the graveyard. Island in the graveyard. I'm in a draft right now. And first pick to Karn Liberated. Second pick. J I love that. And sec second pick Jace is so funny to me because I'm like, what did you take over this? Oh, bounce the Nahiri. I like that. I don't love it. I think it's fine, though. I can fix it in Holland probably to, live, to be live. Really? Well, that's interesting. I feel like if we're going to play Nimble Obstructionist, you might as well count it a Planeswalker ability, right? So they have seven in the air. They can kill something pretty easily here. Yep, so now you have four, five, six, seven, and then three. So you can still only kill one Planeswalker. Like you can go at Ral and then somebody else, or you can go four at one and six at somebody else. What is Nissa Vital Force? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. What does Nissa Vital Force get back? Permanence, right? So we can get back Shriek Maw. It's not terrible. Get back a Vraska, can't cast it. It might just be Shriek Maw. We don't have a way to shuffle our graveyard back in. I wish we did. Two at Ral and one at me. Intriguing. I do feel like we could have gotten rid of this guy a while back, but... Don't we have another sweeper in the deck? Damnation? No. Dang it. I mean, we do have another... We do have another sweeper in the deck. But we're dead on board. Except for this guy. What do we got? Solemn. And we hit a cryptic command. All right. All right. So what are our odds? What are our options here? Shriek Maw killing Tempest Dude. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's not lethal. But an aura creature or planeswalker. So I'm going to go red. Oh, I see. You used the red for this when I wanted you to use something else for that. Activate Nahiri. We're looking for the damnation here, which would be freaking amazing. We could also exile this guy. Oh, you're not damnation at all. Dang it. Are we dead? We activate Stirring Wild block here. We or we block here, I guess. And we take 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's a lot. It's a lot of damage. There comes damnation. It's going to be in there. Oh, my God. I'll take... Actually, Glorybringer's not bad. It kills this guy and leaves us at one. Three, six. We can do threes and get rid of these three guys next turn. We could also just deal six and get rid of all our own Planeswalkers as well. What's our plan? I like Glorybringer here. We have to kill the Tempest Djinn. We go to one here. It's not great. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We go to one. So we have seven cards. Uh, we're going to draw one for the turn. We're going to have six cards. Uh, Johnny can look at the top X. Four. So, I mean, we're not, we're not dead. We can kill a guy with Nahiri. Um, we can get back Shriek Maw with Nissa, kill something else. We can get Solemn Simulacrum for free here to block the Porcelain Legionnaire. 
The problem is dealing with these floaty boys. That's also, that's very good. You're at 11 cards, huh? Can we kill them with like needle spires in another land here? So one, two, three, four, activate. I think we can, I think we can just kill them here. This is 10, this is four, right? No, we're just going to win. Uh, pay one, black. One, two, three. Um, we need a second red and a second green. Activate you. Casual overpaying. Seems fine. As long as it's not Snapcaster Mage, we're good. Wow! <laughs> Two manlands for the win. Mias, thank you so much for the Saints. I really appreciate it. Seems good. Remember that time when Johnny put three counters on our Neil, Neil Spires? It's okay. It's uh, so good. Um, what do they have? We saw a Riffling Cloudscape. We saw Nimble Obstructionist. Actually, Masquerum could be good to get with, uh, with Nahiri. I mean, to be fair, all of those cards were on board. We had Raging Ravine on board, and we had Needle Spires, and we had a Johnny on board. We had 15 damage on the board. You just had to see it. A Johnny, can you hear me? We pumped Neil Spire's opponent's surprise Pikachu. <laughs> oh my god. See, these are the quality memes I'm here for. I would like to put three counters on my double striking 2-1. Excuse me, opponent. Can you confirm that you were at 20, uh, 14 life? Mm, thank you. Hark the herald of Johnny sing, glory to a Johnny King. Oh. How do you feel about allowing the secondary sets into modern? I feel good about them. Um, you know what? I feel like there's a way. There's so many ways to do that, which they I just don't think they take the risks to do it right. Um, so even if they made a rule that like secondary sets are allowed in modern. They could make it so that you don't have to have all secondary sets, right? You could literally say, like, you could have sets that come out that say this set will be modern legal, right? 
and then you just have like specific sets that are legal in the format. I know it's complicated because, um, you know, not all sets would be, and you know, it's whereas right now all sets after eighth edition that are standard, like uh, that are regularly start are legal, and it's like, I get that, but Magic is a complicated game, and there's a lot of ins and outs, and like people can figure that out. It's not super hard. I think there's definitely ways to get sets like that into modern. Um, and still just be fine. Are they blue, green, black, red, orange? <laughs> Alrighty then. Yeah, I'll meta leak this. Oh, we get a Soren next turn? That's pretty nice. Uh, the problem is we'd still be at one, right? So Zichi. Um, we wouldn't be able to play Ugin until the next turn. So we'd still have to block with Stirring Wildwood. We'd lose a Stirring Wildwood. Um, we would go to one because we'd still be taking the same amount of damage. And then negative three would still leave Riftwing, Cloudskate, and Dream Eater, which are both flyers. So it's still not great for us. We could just play Dreadborn and Chandler Initiate. I'm pretty sure this is Stratus Dancer, which can come over and hit Soren for three, which is rough. However, if they want to spend their turn flipping a Stratus Dancer, that seems fine. Um, I think I'd rather just get Soren on the board because I don't think they have a way to really deal with Soren. Uh, this is a morph, not a mor manifest, so. I don't think it would require that much more balancing and testing, just because here's the thing, like, R&D doesn't really test for modern anyway. Um, as of, you know, the last, last of my knowledge, R&D did not really test modern for, for sets. They just don't have the manpower or the time. You can't test all these sets for modern inter interactions. That's, that's how, you know, that's how really strong... Uh, combinations get into modern without being seen all the time, right? And then you just ban the cards if they don't work, right? Like it's not it's not a really big deal. The the problem is that people make people make it a bigger deal than it actually is. So if this is a Stratus answer, I kind of just want to play. Uh, I kind of just want to evoke this Shriek Mall, Shriekums McMoms. But I also want to make a guy first, because if they want, like, Cryptic Command Bounce Soren, then we can't make a guy. And we're going to cast with Evoke. Because we're trying to avoid getting Stratus Dancered for a Dread Boar. Yeah, and I mean, they could actually be spending more time on Modern than they did. But then, like, one extra supplemental set per year is really not going to break the, the mold. You know what I mean? Uh, no, I'm good. Still not going to... I'm pretty sure Stratus Answer is the only... Um, I want the mana here, so I'm going to put it on you. I'm pretty sure Stratus Answer is the only creature that, that has Morph in, uh, in blue. I could be wrong. And I was not wrong. Also, let's not forget last game that uh, changing Skull Clamp to plus one, plus one instead of plus one, negative one would have actually been a significant nerf. Let's not forget last game we gave them two free cards with uh, what's it called? I can't think of the card. <laughs> with uh, um, this is very bad. We need red, red, black, black. We got a Sphinx, consecrated Sphinx. I was in the middle of trying to like figure out how we're doing this. Let's go blue. Black will dread bore you. 
And they got Mana Lake in the graveyard, so they can't... Alright, well that was nice. Uh, say yes. Say black. You green. Lady! When I'm with you, I'm smiling. Gain a life. <laughs> that was one of my favorite cards ever. Yeah, that's a good one. That was a good card. Solid. I guess we just won the game. All right. <laughs> Can't beat one Soren. Seems good. Seems good. Guys, our deck is sweet. I'm just going to submit like this. Also, I put this fan on. I don't know why. Because it is. Let's 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 look at the temperature right now. What are we talking here? 59 degrees. Feels like 57. Oh, 57 degrees feels like 57. At least it's accurate. I'm responding to, to Kerwit right now, actually. You guys would probably not believe it. Suddenly vampire tribal. <laughs> Seems good. God, uh, Re Reflecting Pool is one of my favorite lands in the cube. I don't think this hand is great, but I think it's keepable. The problem is you have very few hands in this in this uh, in decks like this that that just are great by themselves. They usually need a couple things to do to do to do do do, 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 do well. But uh, fun to catch you live and hanging out with time to do all things like go to work, have a great day, Phil keep, Phil money. I I did see your email. I will, I'm gonna actually. I started, so I responded to it. I'll uh, I'll definitely get back to you. I definitely appreciate it too, buddy. All right, all right. No two drop from the aggressive legions landing deck seems good for us. Any swamp would be amazing because then we can play all of our things. And by any swamp, I mean any black mana. We just call them swamps. They're all swamps. We got here, Mirror and Crusader. Oh wait, what? What? Wow, that was kind of rude. Thank you. Well, seems good. Voodoo Squid, thank you so much for the reset. Welcome back. Here come the fun police. Do I want this? I don't think so. We're not doing anything this turn, right? Actually, I mean that was a perfect draw, but. Huh. Okay. I believe you. Jump in the line. Rock your body in time. Okay. I believe you. Oh, Gideon Juror. A Juror. So, what you're saying to me right now is that we get to exile and tapped. We could exile this and get our thing back. We're probably just going to dreadbore the Gideon. Let's go black and red. See you later, bye. We could have actually just tapped this in response and it blocked. But they have two cards. I'm not terribly afraid. We have a grip full of walkers. Of Walker Texas Rangers. Oh, they have one card in hand? Yeah, this is it's pretty bad. Oh, man. Oh, biscuits. What are we getting here? Probably just a mountain. Do we not have Godless Shrine? Oh, we didn't take the Godless Shrine, and then it got, uh, and then it did not come back, so. Yeah, that's all right. That's life, you know? Sometimes life is a Godless Shrine that doesn't come back. 
One, two, three, four, five. Kill this idiot. <laughs> That's a good one. Wow, man. Your rudeness is it's unparalleled. One, two, Signet. I think we just take a hit from this guy and play Nahiri next turn. That seems fine. I ain't I ain't too worried about it. These are some good draws you're getting. I'm going to be honest with you. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can play Veraska and kill this. I think we're next turn we're just going to plan on damnationing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Could have Johnny. The problem is I really want to save the mana here. So I actually, I don't want to with Johnny yet. I don't hate Nahiri exile this, but then like Nahiri just dies to Mirror Crusader, but I guess that's okay. I don't want them to flip landing here is the problem, so. I am tempted to damnation, but then we don't get we don't have white mana. Actually, do I even care about them flipping it? Like we just get to block block. Like, I don't think that's a big deal. I'd like to get an Ajani down, but then we have to tap Channeler. Shriekmaw can't block Mirror Crusader, so Ajani probably just, definitely just dies. Yeah, I think we're just passing here, actually. Because the only Planeswalkers we can play require us to tap Channeler Initiate, unfortunately. And they only get one card, so... Oh, this is good. This is very good. Oh, man. That's so good, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we get a land, and now we get now Reflecting Pool is online for, for real. I guess we'll attack first, right? Oh, man. This is beautiful. Peace out, everybody. So history's dead. Legion landing is a blank. It's a good dude. Uh, I got a Vraska. And game. And that gives us the seventh land for Karn next turn. No, go on. Well, we can also just black zenith, black sun zenith for one here. One, two, three. One, two, three. At least there's a four mana, so we can play Soren and Black Sun for one. I actually don't hate that. I feel like this is a good use of Black Sun zenith. I really don't want to neg Karn just to kill a selfless spirit. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. So we can go like this. White, black for Soren. Black, black, one. Yeah, this deck has been pretty sweet so far. 
plus plus thanks to Monsonster for the stipulation really appreciate it buddy and if you guys want to have your own stipulations done you can check out my ooh, really my twitch profile links in the description below you can also check it out you can't lose the game on decking yourself black sun yeah that's actually a good point as long as i can keep casting black suns i'm good to go well now we get to nahiri this so uh one two three play nissa this is amazing play our seventh land no it's actually our sixth land one two three four nahiri get rid of you plus you plus you attack and this is where the uh, game just kind of spirals out of control game two <laughs> i'm having a good time are you guys having a good time everybody having a good time thank you kadeen thank you so much for the sub really appreciate it welcome welcome Kadeen, i think i said it okay maybe Masker Room seems great in this matchup as well. I like that we have Masker Room, uh, Damnation, and Black Sun Zenith. It's kind of a nice little... Uh... Time of the Reinforcements and Silk Wrap also seem pretty good here. What can we take out, though? Murderous Cut's great. Shriek Maw's great. Lebo, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Olivia Valderon might be too slow. I think I'd rather have like a timely reinforcements instead. Uh, this was a five color super friend stip. Pretty liberal with the stipulation. Wasn't like weren't any super uh, restrictive requirements. Just five color super friends. Um, so crap seems good. Kadeen. Nice. Nice. Nailed it. I might take a Johnny out for the K for the silk for the Kadeen for the silk wrap. That still leaves with Tom Planeswalkers and a Johnny is probably the least impact. Whereas at least Nissa can get another Planeswalker back. Actually, a Johnny won us the last game, so I don't want to say that Johnny is the least impact. That's rude to a Johnny. I like that. I like Channel Earnership a little better, though, because it lets us play Nahiri on turn dosums. I just wanted the pretty badge and the use of the one, the only <laughs> surprise Pikachu. I'm so proud of that surprise Pikachu emote, man. It's like the most perfect emote ever. And I like that it turned out like it looks like it looks perfect. Like it looks very well. Like, you know, a lot of emotes don't actually represent very well. Not that surprise Pikachu. I actually like exiling this. Um... But then we just lose our Nahiri. Ah, gah, biscuits. Bip, 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 biscuits. We could play Nahiri and plus Nahiri and then Damnation next turn. I don't hate that, but what do I even discard? Maybe nothing. This is not super hard. Like, if this guy's also a 2-3 after next turn if we activate him on... Like, if we play this, get rid of this, she goes to 2, and then she dies to the knight. So it's like, we're just trading a Nahiri for this. I don't really want to ramp them either. I mean, we're basically trading... Let's get a Blood Crypt here. That gives us all of our colors. And then we're going to go white. I, I do like Nahiri Plus and maybe not discard something. Because it's the same as like not playing Nahiri. They're going to hit her for two.
Do I want to discard a card? I can see discarding the Signet. That's all right. Can we keep that up? We can keep this up and still play Assassin's Trophy? That's not bad. <laughs> Yay! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh. Let's play a Woodland Cemetery, boy. Oh, my gracious. We are very good at this game. I'm going to just discard Forest here. Uh, actually, not going to discard anything. I like our hand very, very much. So, and we could have actually kept blood. We could have actually kept murderous cut up. Yeah, now we're feeling silly, but that's actually fine. It's whatever. Um, let's plus again. Can we Ashrock here? We can go f Island into one, two, three, Ashiok. Exile the top three of your dude. Selfless Spirit, don't care. Two planes, don't care. I will discard the forest now. It's not bad. Uh, I'm just going to do this during upkeep. I don't want you to have a third land, third mana this turn in case you have like a... I don't know. Actually, we'll let you draw first. Actually, we'll just play Murderous Cut. <laughs> I don't even know what we're doing with the... Well, Mona Lisa's and Mad Hatter's son's banker's son. This is where they're going to resto. Yep, had a feeling about that, actually. But they don't get to attack here, and that's fine. We should have killed it last turn so they don't get resto. Yeah, that was a mistake that I realized too late, unfortunately. Sorcerer's Spyglass. Yeah, we do have Assassin's Trophy. Oh, we actually have Glorybringer to kill this. Yeah, we're all right. We don't have a red yet. We need a second red. We can actually play Selfless Spirit. That's the second red. Mirren Crusader. Went around the sea. Good morning to the night. But not if it's dark outside or light. I kind of like just killing Brimaz here. I don't think I care about the Nahiri as much. Because they have one card in hand. We could kill this, and then, but we're not going to discard anything here. Green and black. Yeah, like Resto comes at Ashiok, that's fine. We get to go Glorybringer, kill the Resto. We get to put like a Mirren Crusader into play, maybe. That's also pretty good. All right, well, I'm just going to play that. Shriekums McJeekums. Shrieky Jeeky. Uh, I can keep exiling. I don't, I don't really care about the cards I have now. All right, well that's good. I feel like this game's over. That, it's no good, man. Ashia keeps on ticking, ticking. Kithio, Kithi, Kithios. Into the future. I mean, might as well just, um, might as well just exert here and kill this guy. Oh no, you're not gonna let me do that. I will search. I will get a swamp, so that we still have mana 
for our Nissa if we draw Nissa. Can you guys hear that robot vacuum? That Roomba is like killing it. All right, these lands are not doing it for us here. Uh, what can we get? We can get a Mirror Crusader, which probably stops most of the things they're doing. We can also just keep milling them with Ashiok. Ashiok goes to eight. Yeah, I think this is just this is just a quicker clock. Oh, and we got a Venerated Loxodon there, huh? That's pretty good. Play the land. Can't activate you. I'm pretty sure we don't attack here. I'd rather just block the vampire than have Ashiok take three. I feel like the... Uh... We can't Nahiri. Sorcerer Spyglass is on Nahiri. They're peeping us. And we won the match. All right, so we are currently 4-0 with this deck. I am uh, pretty amazed, but that that's pretty sweet, so. But they can't, and that is why. Have you seen the previous for Spider-Verse? What's your initial thoughts? I think it looks cool, and I'm going to take my... I think it looks great, actually. And, um... Yeah, I think it looks super cool. Um, I'm looking forward to it. You know not if it's dark at Saturday. How many trophies do I have? Literally one. You know what I think they should do? Here's what I think they should do. And it's not hard to implement. It's not a difficult thing to do. Instead of saying trophies, they should have gold trophies, silver trophies, and bronze trophies. Gold trophies would be every draft you 3-0'd. Silver trophies would be every draft you went 2-1. Bronze trophies would be every draft you went 1-2. So it'll it'll basically tell you, you know, what your average, like, what's your what your consistent records are. You know what I mean? Like, you can be like, wow, I have one gold trophy, but I have seven silver trophies and two bronze trophies so then you get a really good idea of like what your average win ratio is and it, like it takes no effort to do that really like it's a, it seems like a very simple like you can just move this down like there's even space for it here already just make two more boxes and just have them and it just keeps track of scores you know and like obviously your undefeated trophies would still be the same that wouldn't change but you're just able to better represent um because i have one um I have, like, I have one trophy, but I feel like I have 2 one almost all of the drafts except for, like, two that we've done. But remember your client got crashed seven times earlier. Huh. Huh. That's a good point. That's a solid strategy. It's a solid, not a strategy. I guess that's not a strategy. Um, I don't think this hand is good. I think if we hit one land, this hand is great. Yeah, this hand's very good. Uh, I will also keep you on the top. This seems good. Second turn, initiate. Third turn, Ashiok. An island, huh? Ain't nobody got time for that. How would you get? How would how would a get drunk stip go? Like you take? I'm not doing that. I'm not a big I'm not a big fan of drinking, uh, and especially not for entertainment purposes. Mike doesn't mind that, so we we Mike does do uh, do drunk stuff every so often, but um, I I like having my faculties intact, so. Literally what nature's little yeah, literally what nature's little treasure says. He don't like the drink. Channeler Initiato. I don't really do drunk stuff. Hey bro, I don't do drunk stuff. Oh, they didn't do anything. Oh, well, we're just going to tear you apart with Ashiok then. 
do we think they have they could have mana leak i don't i think we're just gonna risk it for the biscuit because i really want to tap land coming down this turn so i can play a five mana planeswalker next yeah ashiok on an empty board is pretty strong we got a jason what else you got here an opt and a teferi oh gasoline um i'll play this because i want a second uh i want to be able to have a yeah, it doesn't matter we want, to, we want a red black is really what we want to we want to have here so Well, that isn't that cute. Isn't that special? On top of land. Do you want a Jace? No, we definitely don't want a Jace because Jace will flip and Day of Judgment, huh? Okay. Hmm. Gideon's actually problematic. I'm pretty sure there's blue white control. I don't know what to do here. I don't really feel like killing this is a great option. We can actually kill this attack Gideon. Doesn't seem great. We actually can't do that. We don't have enough mana for that. I guess we could actually activate Needle Spires and attack Gideon. They'll probably block and then they can... If they want to spend their... I guess they, they don't spend their turn doing that, but... Should be fine. Yeah, this is actually good because if they if they block, that's fine. Like we don't we weren't gonna have a blocker anyway. We're just gonna block this guy anyway. So we just get the the knight off the board. Awkwardly, though, if they have a Supreme Verdict or Wrath of God, it puts us in an awkward position, but... If you need to activate first, then Nissa, it's a 5-5 five, five double. Oh, that's a good point. I didn't think about that. Yeah, the ability gives a double strike. Um, so we activate it, it, it becomes an elemental with double strike, and then it becomes a 5-5. Five, five. So it would still have 10. Actually, Needle Spires is pretty OP first. Yeah, you don't want to Nissa first because... What just happened? Wait, didn't we 3-0? Why did I get... 2-0, 2-0. And our opponent just conceded from the game. Oh, it's because it's 100 play points. It's... Wait, no, you shouldn't get 150 for 3-0? Oh, this is the reimbursement 100. Okay. Okay. <laughs> wow. That was, that was really confusing. Okay, well, that was that was weird. They they both came in at the exact same time. All right, well, that was. I was like, wait, they just conceded the whole match, and then we get. I don't understand. I'm confused. Whew. Well, that was really efficient on Wizards' part, though. I appreciate the. Uh... The efficiency there.
I don't think we have any sideboard cards I really want here. Uh, Erebos could be decent, but we're never activating it. Don't care about Profida. Actually, none of these cards are great. Ancient Grudge, destroy an artifact. I we don't see many artifacts. I'm just gonna submit like this. <sighs> These one land hands would be so much better as two land hands. I probably could have taken Black Sun Zenith out for something. And we have a damnation as well. I'm going to keep this hand. I don't love it, but it does have a lot of colors. So, <laughs> we don't have blue, unfortunately. Yeah, they're like, hey, give this, make sure this guy. Uh, Thanks for contacting me. Sorry that you experienced an issue during Magic Online. We've reimbursed your account and the interruption of 100 play points. No, all right. Well, easy enough. I was, I mean, I even wrote my letter in a sing-song voice. I'm surprised they didn't actually... Uh, Say more, you know. Thank you for your response to my email. I appreciate all that you do. Oh, would you look at that little cutie? Shrieky, what about Shrieky McMaw? My body looks over the... Alright, maybe we do want sweepers here. So bring back my body to me. Alright, so next turn we're going to be able to go... I love you, old Darren seems good here. If I worked at once, my response would be very clear. Oh, let's see. Let's see what it is. Hey, you gotta know when to hold him. Know when to fold him. Know when to hold him again. Just keep on holding. Oh, well. This seems good. I'm gonna shoot your whole board down. I'm just curious why you scroll. Oh, uh, because we didn't see many creatures in game one. The only creature we saw was um, literally a Gideon token, right? So I just assume they're on a more controlling version of the deck. We also saw Day of Judgment and Teferi in the graveyard. Or well, somewhere you know, at, at, at different, at different, in different zones. Um, so like, I didn't want to keep a creature that's just like a five drop when we actually need different. We need like a blue mana, and we also need some more early proactive things. That's fine. Don't kill my Olivia. Let me bounce it to my hand. We're gonna top deck a damnation here, and it's gonna be. Or a Black Sun Zenith. Actually, that gets us not much. One, two, three, four. We can actually play a Johnny and plus it. No, we can't because of Thathalia. Three, four. Olivia. And we'll play a Meyer, and we'll just crack it with the intent of getting like a Black uh, Blood mm, Blood Crypt. So much blood. Oh, we took the Jace, sure. Well, that is a thing, isn't it? Can I shoot that and gain control of it? I need one more mana, right? 
We did not crack our fetch land. We are not good at this game. So we can shoot you, make you a 4-4. Shoot you, make you a 4-4. Play 1-2-3. You're a vampire now. You're a vampire now, Hattie. Um, we can play Spire Bluff, shoot you, and the next turn we'll have seven mana to be able to steal this and shoot this. That's pretty good. We do have to take six in the process. Exile. Oh, wow, they didn't exile. That's great. <laughs> they could have exiled all the cards in our graveyard. We're not blocking, so no point in holding this back. Uh, this is five color, as you can tell from that Spire Bluff Canal that we just drew. So, yeah, we definitely have red, red, and then black, black. We're going to have to get a have to get a Blood Crypt. Let's not forget this time. So we're going to three here. But we're playing against blue-white, so I'm not too concerned with it. Two cards in hand. One card after they play, whatever this is. Crack, crack Mindstone? Yep. Three cards in hand. All right. Wow. <laughs> oh, boy. This is awkward because even if we play like Nyssa, I guess, I guess it is what it is. Oh, we gained two, though, which is great. All right. That actually helps us a lot. I correct the fetch after because I don't think we're going to have enough time to actually draw Olivia and still survive. So we didn't really care about that. Four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just make a guy and block. Seems fine. Unless there are two cards or counter spells. That seems fine. I mean, if they have a way to get rid of this guy, we're dead, so. Oh, we can, but it wouldn't. It doesn't exile, so they would just have two three threes instead, which is still lethal. So, not thrilled about that. Yep, as long as, as long as this guy does not have trample, flample, I'm okay with it. It's also pretty good, but we can kill the batter skull, so that's nice. Where are my Nahiri's at? Uh, we're going to play Nissa, get a land, play a land. This actually feels pretty safe. Hold on, we can do some things here. Get a land. Play a land. Flip Nisser. We can play Vital Force. We're definitely destroying this Batter Skull, for sure. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six mana to work with. We can actually play Nissa, untap a land, play Channeler Initiate. Still leaves us dead. What we can do is make an Ashaya and then put three counters on it. But then again, like if they have an answer, we're still dead. So. How do we make the most of this? One, two, three, four, five. They didn't have an answer last turn, right? Reveal the top card of your library. If it's a land, put it on the battlefield. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'd have seven lands if we did that. Yeah, we're gonna plus here. Ralzeric, you are not great, my friend. Four, five. 
untap a forest. Hope this does it. All right. Well, they didn't have an answer last turn. So if they have an answer, we're dead. <sighs> no whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. They're not paying costs. They're not windmill slamming anything. Like, they're going to gain a lot of life before we can stabilize, but we have a lot of things going on. All right. So long, Landorino. Sun Titan? Vizier copying Worm Coil Engine. Yikes. Nahiri, Nahiri, Nahiri. Glory Bringer. That's not going to do it. Ugh. Oh, that's bad. We're at a point where we just really need to hit like a Nahiri. Eh, Dreadbor is not terrible. So we can kill one, kill the other. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have nine mana. Five, six, seven. And Channeler initiate. And make a thing. And make a forest. I'm definitely going to Dreadbore this guy. So that's nice. That's one down. Ugh. <sighs> We have no permanence to get back, but if we like, we can block the. We can make a dude. Could destroy this guy too, but then we got to deal with three instead of just one. So I think we're gonna wait on that. We're gonna make another dude. There's a lot of things going on right now. <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven. We have access to eight mana, but I think we're just gonna play Chandler Initiate and like a Johnny because Johnny actually helps us get. So, make a Chandler Initiate. Put the counters on itself. Get a white, a green, this, this, and this. Play a Johnny. Look at some cards. Get a Nikki B. Um, Assassin, Damnation, Woodland Cemetery. Untap. The island. Activated, 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 activated. Okay. Three blockers. Even if they kill one, we still uh, can block two. That's fine. Wow, this game is intense. Yikes. Alright, so we block the lifelinker, block this guy, and maybe we just take three here? I don't love that. I also don't think we need the channeler, and we have a Nissa on seven. You get an emblem with whatever land on battlefield you draw a card, that seems pretty good. Target opponent, creature an opponent controls, or a planeswalker they control. That seems good. We ain't dead yet. Something's Karn? Three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. They have seven mana. This is pretty scary. Oh, Sphinx is for three, just main phase? Sure. That doesn't do it. We need a Nahiri right right now for this guy. We have a lot of ways to find a Nahiri. I'm gonna Johnny here. Nahiri one time. Shriek Maw. Olivia. Oh, Olivia seems amazing. Soren also makes blockers for days. Yeah, I'm going to take the Soren here. One, two, three. Reveal again. Huh. Well, how much mana do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Technically nine if we untap. We can also destroy the Vizier. We could destroy Vizier, play Ugin, kill a thing. No, we're not doing that. Did we use you yet? Yes, we did. We did not use you yet, though. 
Uh, so I think we're doing one, two, three, four. We're doing Sora and make a blocker. Make a blocker with Vraska. And we can kill the Death Toucher. And then we have like multiple blockers for this guy. Used you. Didn't, didn't use you. Uh, you can't take down with Ugin. It don't, doesn't kill colorless cards. It only it only exiles permanents uh, that are one or more colors. So you will never actually be able to do that. Um, each one exiles two cards from their hand. That's also pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's The hardest part is counting all my mana each turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine technical mana. Ten if we want to use this. I don't think that's good, though. I think we just want to Glorybringer kill this. Play Soren. Alright, we're making a dude. One, two, three, four, five. Um, playing Glorybringer. Exerting Glorybringer. Killing this dude. Main phase, and then we have one planeswalker we can use. We will untap this guy, and we'll make one, two, three, four, Soren. Make a dude. All right. Well. Activate, 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 activate. All right. Well, this is something. Jeez. Ooh, it's only two blockers, unfortunately, but still pretty good. I mean, this is probably the best we could hope for. I mean, it's getting to a point where, like, they really have to have something. I mean, we have five Planeswalkers on board. We're just having to deal with this Worm Coil engine. There's a Nahiri somewhere in our deck, and we're looking six cards deep every turn. One with Nissa, four with Ajani, and one with our draw step, so... This actually is nice, because we get actually go to seven, which means the Worm Coil is no longer lethal. So that actually buys us two turns, theoretically. I'm a little afraid of, like, an Ugin or something. But if they had an Ugin, I'm pretty sure they would have played it and then XL all the colored permanence first and then killed us with the that's actually great because now we have lots of different things uh now ugin actually killing all these things is pretty good now we can ugin for zero and it's pretty nice one two three four five six seven oh they did kill our spire bluff canal which is kind of obnoxious but what we can do is destroy the Death Toucher. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Spirit Dragon. Exile for zero. Um, make a black one, one guy. What's her ultimate? Up to today, we can have six, six elementals. Up to, up to six of them. So let's six times six, thirty-six. It's not going to kill them. Uh, we also don't have any lands. So let's untap this guy. Put three counters on this guy. And we'll just make it a Shia here, I think. Activate, 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 activate. Okay. I'm just going to attack here. Like, if, if you have ways to deal with both of these creatures, then that's fine. <laughs> oh, I love the cycling here because it's like, well, this isn't going to do anything. We actually have six walkers on the board, yeah. This deck is gasoline. They do have, it's worth noting, they have Vizier of Many Faces in the graveyard, but that doesn't do anything. 
They could copy their lifelinker. I guess they could copy any one of our guys, but... <laughs> our deck is such gas, dude. 3-0, we didn't actually lose a game. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch, Patreon, and MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You can probably still get stuff in time for Christmas if you wanted to. You get 15% off free shipping and free returns. So be sure to check out that affiliate link. It helps me out. It helps you guys out. You probably need that stuff anyway. Please check that out. If you guys want to do a stipulation draft or have a deck critique, please check out my Twitch profile or my Patreon page. You can find information on both of those. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.